We are Becca and Matt. And we're full-time travelers working remotely. We are currently traveling the United States with our 13-foot burrow camper. And our two cats, Grace and Peach. Right now, we are exploring the Northeast for the summer. And then heading back west before winter. Like and subscribe to follow along our journey. Cheers! everybody <clears throat> I'm trying not to talk too loud because it's kind of early here like 8 a.m. <laughs> but um, in YouTube world it's only been like a week since you last saw us but in the real world we've actually been staying with my family here in California um, for the past month which has been really nice to just take a break from the road regroup and also ride out some of these last heat, heat waves um, the summer has provided us but today, we're hitting the road again. Um, we're making our way up north to the Oregon border. And if you haven't already guessed where we're going, I'll keep it in suspense a little bit longer. But unfortunately, we do have to make one more stop before we officially hit the road. And spoiler alert, the girls aren't gonna like it. But until we have to do that, I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee and this somewhat coolish morning. And yeah, let's go from there. Good morning, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guessed it, we're going to the vet. Sorry girls. Okay, good news. Everybody's healthy, a little grumpy, but we're all doing good. We got our shots and now we're ready to go on an adventure. Hey girls. So we of course leave at two hours behind schedule and then get right in rush hour traffic on a Friday evening. So we're still in San Jose and have been on the road. So we're off to a good start, but that's okay because we got nowhere to really be and we're on vacation. We're on the road again. <laughs> but we should arrive at Humboldt Redwood State Park around 10 o'clock tonight. So not ideal. We don't like arriving at night, but we do. Man, I don't know who I feel bad for more, me or Grace. Grace! 
ladies, obviously. Poor mama. I'm sorry. Oh, we <laughs> didn't breathe in. It's so horrendous. And it smells like it smells like a healthy food. Girls figure it out. Girls, no fighting. Okay, so if you guys haven't caught on yet, we didn't have a litter box in here and Grace just peed and pooped. So, emergency. A gross, Grace. That don't look right. Oh, where'd she pee? Everywhere. Oh, gross. Is there any more napkins? All right, so Grace's timing is impeccable. This is the street we had to pull off on to deal with the uh, fiasco we just had. So, yeah. It was right across the street from the Oakland A's stadium. So, we started right below San Jose. So, we got all the way to Oakland before Grace uh, shit her pants. We can't see that. Uh, we had to deal with it. So, uh, I got the litter box out. We had to put the blanket, which was supposed to be a comfy blanket into a trash bag. We had quite the crowd assemble around us. Some were inquiring about the camper. Some were inquiring what we were doing with the blanket in a trash bag. Uh, fun little pit stop in Oakland. Gotta love it. We made it after many hours. It's I think 11 o'clock here and we finally made it to our campground at a state park surrounded by beautiful redwood trees that we can't exactly see but we're calling it a night because we're tired <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night Grace. Good night Pete. Good night Beck. Good morning. You can see it's a, it stays a little darker in here. It's already nine o'clock and the trees do a pretty good job of blocking out this morning sun, but we have officially made it to Humboldt Redwood State Park. And it's actually the third largest state park in California. And we're surrounded by beautiful redwood giants, as you can see here. Not a vast place to stay the night. So unfortunately, we only were able to stay here for one night, but that's okay because we're gonna keep going up north to check out some more beautiful redwoods. So let's go.
Hi, we made it to Del Norte Coast Redwood State Park. It's one of the state parks that kind of encircles Redwood National Parks. And um, that's where we're gonna spend the weekend exploring. So that's another beautiful quiet spot surrounded by old redwood trees. And now we're heating up some impossible chicken nuggets to have a small lunch before going into the nearest town and getting groceries. But let me show you our site. There's the chef heating up some chicken nuggets. <laughs> There's our queen exploring her new home. And this is our little site. And here we have our bear locker, our table, and our chairs are set up. What a beautiful spot. And I'm back to chasing you. The other one's still inside. Raised. Can you stop eating grass? There she is. We don't like that. But... If you haven't tried Impossible Chicken Nuggets yet, do it. Not sponsored, but I wish. <laughs> but they really are good. They taste just like chicken nuggets. Mm -mm. Ooh, windy. What? How'd you cook it? How did I cook it? I just threw it on the stove top. Real easy. Oh, you were being sarcastic. Oh yeah, so you can cook it on the stove top. We've never done that before, but we don't have electricity here. So you can cook it. Normally we would cook it in our air fryer and that comes out pretty good. But even on a stove top, it tastes good. Okay, so we're back from Crescent City where we did some grocery shopping and grabbed a dinner. Um, it was pretty good pizza and a nice atmosphere. It's a foggy and cool night tonight, which is a much, much more appreciative um, weather than what we were experiencing this past week with the heat waves coming through California. But now we are probably going to just have an early night and get some sleep. We have a big day tomorrow with some really cool hiking that I'm excited to take you guys along. But for now, good night. We'll see you in the morning. to Gold Bluffs campground where we have the entryway of our Fern Canyon trailhead. So it was kind of quite an adventure to get here, but now the actual hiking starts. So let's go. dinosaurs I hope actually not but right so the canyon was created by the sea that was retreating yeah and so left behind all the ferns this was once below the water pretty cool Definitely one of the coolest places I've ever been to. Very quiet, cool, and of course beautifully green. And at any moment, I expect a T-Rex to come around the corner. And if you're wondering why I keep saying that, it's because they apparently filmed some scenes from Jurassic Park here.
so we weren't sure if you could if the Fern Canyon trail that we were on actually was part of the trail or just like a little detour. So we turned around and now went up this other trail and we just saw some people pass us that were in front of us on the Fern Canyon trail. So I guess it did loop. So now we just get to see it twice. <laughs> concluding our four hour hike it was I believe how many miles eight miles nine miles Matt is correcting me and we started in the Fern Canyon then went through the redwoods along the ridge lines and now finishing along the coast we just saw a little bit of some elk and our feet are tired our knees hurt and we're hungry so we're probably going to end the video here and go grab some dinner but we hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this the video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. All right, I'm tired, so we'll see you tomorrow.